All right, folks, I'm gonna show you how to um, get the setup ready for your Sharp Equus interactive board um, and show you a little basic operations. This first section is just gonna be plugging in the cables um, and how everything kind of connects. So to start with, your Sharp Equus board is mounted on the mobile stand or it's mounted on the wall. Um, whichever option you have, please make sure that you mount it at a height that um, associates and residents can both interact with it. I'm gonna go stand next to it so you can kind of see um, the height at which this board is set up. So the board, I am five foot four and a half, um, and the board is easily accessible for me. Whoops. And you want it to be touched and interactive with. Um, as far as cleaning the board, you wanna use cleaner that's designed for um, the LED screens to ensure that you protect the board. So let's take a look at the cables. So with the board comes the cable um, for the touch panel. You'll notice it has a kind of a round conductor here on both ends. The other end is plugged in to the back of this computer. The second cable here is the HDMI. You want to have it plugged into the HDMI one cable in the front um, and the touch panel. Make sure they're securely plugged in in order for it to work. The other end of this HDMI cable is not an HDMI port, but a display port cable. Looks like this. When you get your computer, you'll notice on the back of it, there is no HDMI port. Um, so you need to ensure that you plug it into the display port uh, slot. So on the back of it, the power cord is plugged in here. Next to the power cord is where that HDMI to display port cable plugs in. Next is the keyboard. Um, this thing here is the wireless uh, router. So Exordium would have sent you a small plug-in wireless router. Um, this one came with the smart board itself. This one has a really significantly increased booster. Um, to be able to get good internet if you're in a community that doesn't have a whole lot of internet. And this last cable, this is the other end of that touch panel cable. Um, in order for your smart board to be able to be interacted with, you need to have this cable plugged in. So once you have all of your components plugged in, you can mount your computer to the back or you can simply put it on the tray temporarily. Um, on this this particular computer and smart board, I actually have it usually on the back. And I'll walk around the back and show you where I have it set. So behind the, the panel where it attaches, there's this little area. This is where I'm gonna put this particular computer and attach it so it stays secure. Power cord is plugged in. Um, at a future date, I plan on taking the cables and running them through these areas on the stand to help kind of control the cable uh, fluctuate, the cable, uh, we'll call it the cable chaos in the back here. On the end of your smart board, there's more connectors such as audio in, component video in, um, a, a screen out, um, two more HDI, HDMI ports, a area if you're going to plug it in to the internet hardwired and a digital out. So that's pretty much how you set it up. Once you get to that point, you should be good to go. The buttons on the other end of the screen are the input menu lock button to lock people out from being able to um, touch and do anything else to it. Volume, freeze, you can freeze the screen in the middle of anything you're doing as well. Um, which can be quite interesting when you're in the middle of an activity. Um, inputs, when you press input, all of your inputs are gonna pull up there. Uh, HDMI one is where I have the smart board plugged in. As you see, there's a HDMI two, a three, VGA ports, um, audio video, um, and some other component ports. When you hit application, that's gonna pull up details about your smart board. Um, you can have files stored on it, uh, very uh, few files. There's a drawing app built into it already. 
um, settings are here. You can look at the network if you got it running through the network by itself um, and date and all kinds of different settings. All right, so that's the end of that section. Uh, we're gonna come right back and I'm gonna show you how to set up some of the basic applications for it.